How's it going guys? I am Matthias and recently I grabbed myself a one plus one as many of you already know. The device came pre-installed with CyanogenMod so it's pretty close to stock Android. I wanted to point out a couple key benefits of using Android over iOS for those of you that are interested in getting into it or just interested in looking for a new phone. So this is kind of a general overview for people that haven't really experienced both operating systems. So number one, it's expandable. For the most part with a lot of different Android devices you're able to get inside the phone and expand things like memory and change things out like battery. Right there that increases the worth and life of the device. You see a battery has only a finite amount of charge cycles and for the most part not a lot of people are informed on how to properly take care and use a battery so the ability to change it out later is huge. It's much more difficult to change out a battery of like an iPhone or an iPad and honestly the average user should not try to attempt that. Now in terms of memory not a lot of people want or can pay that Apple tax. Sometimes it's great to get the phone and then be able to increase the storage later if you don't have the cash right then and there. Though we are seeing a new trend of devices that are following in Apple's footsteps and locking down the internals of the phone, like the Samsung S6 and S6 Edge, and just like this OnePlus One, you can't get inside the phone for the sake of either better materials or a slimmer footprint. Most of the community is upset about this, but we're just gonna have to wait and see if they either learn to accept it or get mad enough that Samsung actually ends up going back and putting on a removable back. Number two, autocomplete. Not really a feature that you'd expect me to say in this, but nonetheless, it's something that's sorely lacking in iOS. When you're filling out any number of text fields within Android, it's actually going to auto-suggest things based on that context. For instance, I'm filling out an address field within some website on Android, and it's actually going to auto-suggest addresses. Not based on past interactions, but actually based on Google Maps search suggestions. When I search for a contact within the phone app, it'll auto-populate other numbers from nearby businesses. This works across the system and has already saved me so much time from having to re-input that data multiple times. On iOS, every time I saw one of those fields, I would have to fill it out every single time. The only autocomplete function that I'm aware of in iOS is within Safari and it never has ever worked for me. This seriously simplistic feature really harnesses the power of Google and how it should be implemented in our day-to-day -day life. Number three, widgets. Some people might find widgets gimmicky and you know what, they sometimes can be, but a proper place widget on your home screen or lock screen can be seriously useful. Take for instance, quick access to settings, or in my case, quick access to home automation tools like my Philips Hue system. It's really awesome to have news and tweets at a glance or a shortcut into a specific part of an application. Widgets can increase the efficiency on how you use your phone so there's less time wasted. Number four, customization. One of the key features that keeps people on Android is the ability for them to customize the look and feel of the software on their phone. Theming is a big part of the experience on Android. There are hundreds and hundreds of themes and you're able to customize almost any UI element that appears on the screen. Things such as icons, fonts, styles, wallpapers, animations. Meanwhile, on iOS, you can pretty much only change the wallpaper. Lastly, number five, Google Now. This is one of my favorite tools on Android and this is kind of what's making it so I don't go back to iOS. Similar to Siri, Google Now is a system in which you can interact with your phone by just using your voice. It can perform useful tasks for you or gather almost any information accessible on the internet. Third party applications can actually access Google Now so you can actually perform more complex tasks by just using your voice, such as turning off your lights or setting the temperature of your nest, just with your voice. But Google takes it a step further with cards. If you have the Google Launcher, take a quick swipe to your right to reveal a plethora of information gathered from multiple sources based on the context of your current situation. It automatically pulls the most relevant and pertinent information when you need it, such as how long it'll take to get home, weather, reminders, events, sports scores. And I'm a big fan of consuming information, so the easier it is for me to do that, the happier I am. So thanks for watching, guys. That does it for my top five reasons why I believe Android is better than iOS. I'd love to know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. What is your preferred OS, and what are the features that keep you on that platform? Thanks for watching, and consider subscribing to MTech for more of the same.